take a quick look at a proof for the quotient rule of differentiation. So let's say we have this function h at x, which is a quotient of two functions, f at x and g at x. How do we find the derivative of that h at x function? How do we find h prime of x? Well, I'm assuming up to this point, you already know the product rule of differentiation. So that's going to be a crucial part of proving this derivative rule. So let me start by rewriting this function as a product of two functions. Let me multiply both sides of this by g at x. I'll multiply the right side by g at x, and I'll multiply the left side by g at x as well. So on the right side, the reason why I do that is because those cancel out. And what I'm left with is g at x times h at x on the left equals f at x on the right. And now I know how to differentiate f at x in this scenario because f at x is a product of two functions. So f prime of x would equal the derivative of the first function, g prime of x, times the second function, h at x, plus the derivative of the second function, h prime of x, times the first function, g at x. Why did I bother doing this? Well, notice I now have an expression that has h prime of x involved in it. And that's what we're trying to figure out. What is the derivative of h at x, which is a quotient of two things? So now I know I have an equation which has h prime of x involved in it. I just have to isolate that. And then I have an equation for the derivative of h at x. So let's isolate h prime of x. Let's start moving things away from it. So I will subtract this term to the other side. So I have f prime of x minus g prime of x h of x equals h prime of x g of x. Now I have to get rid of this g at x on the right, so I'll divide both sides of this by g of x. And I do that because on the right they cancel. And now I have h prime of x isolated. h prime of x is equal to all of this here that I have on the left. The only thing we have left to do is replace this h of x. This h of x, remember if we look back to where we started, h of x is equal to f at x over g of x. So I can replace this h at x with f at x over g of x because that's what it's equal to. So instead of writing a whole another line, I'm just going to replace that h of x with what I know it's equal to, f at x over g of x. And then this just needs to be simplified. But this is the equation of the derivative of h at x. But it can be simplified. So what I'm going to do is, well, in the numerator, I have two terms, one term, another term. I'm going to get a common denominator between those two terms in the numerator. So what I would need to do, since the denominator of this term is g of x, I'm going to need to multiply top and bottom of this term by g of x to get a common denominator. So I'd have f prime of x g of x over g of x minus, now I've got this term, which is already over g of x, g prime of x times f at x over g at x. And don't forget, this is all over g of x. The two terms in the numerator are both fractions that have g of x as the denominator, so I can write them as a single fraction. So h prime of x, if I combine the two terms in the numerator, I have f prime of x g of x minus g prime of x f of x all over g of x, and then that's all over g of x again. So keep in mind like this, went to this, and all of that's over g of x. So this f prime of x g at x minus g prime of x f at x is being divided by g at x, and then all of that's being divided by g at x again. So that could be simplified. Now, if you want to imagine uh, dividing by fractions, like this is actually over 1, flip and multiply, what we end up getting is h prime of x equals, and this will be our final line, we've got the f prime of x g of x minus g prime of x 
f of x all over that g at x function squared. Right? If I flip and multiply in the denominator, I have g at x times g at x, which is g at x squared. This is the quotient rule for differentiation. If we have an original function h at x, which at the top it tells us h at x is f at x over g at x, I can differentiate h at x by following this formula. If we call f at x the top function and g at x the bottom function, to find the derivative, we do the derivative of the top function times the bottom function minus the derivative of the bottom function times the top function all over the bottom function squared. And that's the quotient rule for differentiation.